Hello, hello. So today, I was just thinking, gosh, it's December, right? December is that time that mm, a lot of people have stress, a lot of burden, a lot of everything, right? You're like, oh, I gotta buy presents. Oh, I gotta do this. Oh, I gotta do that. There's so much to do and so little time to do it or little money to do it or resources to do it or just whatever it is, right? You just think, wow, I gotta do all this stuff. All of this stuff. And Christmas is really about a joyful season. It's about enjoying everything around you, being with people, sharing your heart, being true to the spirit of Christmas. And yet, we're not there. A lot of us are not there. We don't do that because we get caught up in doing it all alone. And that's the key there. Are you doing it all alone? God's word, gosh, when you get into it, take some time every day to get into it and remind yourself that you're not doing it alone. Isaiah 43, 22, he says right here, but my dear people, you refuse to ask for my help. You have grown tired of me. Have you forgotten? Have you refused? Have you withdrawn? Have you just gotten so busy or so proud that you thought you could do it all on your own? Or maybe you just think God doesn't want to help you. Guess what? He does. And he's done amazing things. Amazing things. If you don't know what he's done, take time. Pick up your Bible. Remind yourself. If you know the things he's done, remind yourself again. Go explore who he is. I love Isaiah 43, 18 through 20. But forget all that. It is nothing compared to what I'm going to do. For I am to do a brand new thing. He's going to do a brand new thing. So forget that he raised Jesus from the cross. Um, forget that he healed sick people. Forget that he just created our mighty, mighty earth. He's going to do new things, exciting things, with you specifically in mind. He says, for I'm about to do a brand new thing. See, I've already begun. Do you not see it? I will make a pathway through the wilderness for my people to come home. Are you lost? Are you lonely? Because he's telling you right now, if you're sitting in the wilderness and you're all alone and you're feeling like, ah, I can't do this, he's got a path for you. Look for it. Be with him. Ask him to show it to you. He also then goes on to say, I will create rivers for them in the desert create rivers in the desert. Think about that. Just think about what he is saying right there. The wild animals in the fields will thank me. The jackals and ostriches too for giving them water in the wilderness. Yes, I will make springs in the desert so that my chosen people can be refreshed. You're his chosen people. You really are. And if you don't believe it, sit down and take time to be with him. Or find someone like me who will speak Christ into your heart. Because I gotta tell you, when I get lonely or I get depressed or in my head is like what I like to say, I think, ugh, life sucks, I'm bored, I'm this, I'm overwhelmed, I can't do it, I can't make it happen. It's all me, 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 I, 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 I when it's him, 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 him. Get refocused on him and all that he has for you. Because you know what? I promise you, if you spend a little bit of time here and then with some people who will surround you with his words, you will be blessed beyond belief. And then guess what? You'll get out there and you'll bless someone else. So go do that today. Be blessed by blessing someone else. Until tomorrow.